Shalom, shalom, shabbat, shalom. Welcome to Yahweh's and Yeshua Speak television show. We are here in Evanston, Illinois, the Hebrew husband and wife ministry, 725 and a half Howard Street, to bring forth, continue on this, this lesson. My daddy always said, hit him one more time. That this lesson is that Abba Yari said, let's have a family talk. He's talking to his, his, his chosen people, Israel, so we can tell this for everybody, but he specifically wants them because Ed had, he said, I have a, you have Aaron against me. You have when straight, you start leaning to your own understanding and, and go on trying to be with the, the masses and be popular with them and not tell them exactly the truth what I have written. Yep. So he said, Let's have a family talk. He's our daddy. We fam. So he wants you to know. He said, you are, you know, my Jew, your fellas are going to stand on, on them. So like I say, he, want, he, wants, he wants you to, you have to be polarized, as I was going to that, that wonderful last, last night. Polarized and to get this inspiration uh, from Daddy Yahweh's word. That's, I mean, I, you ain't can what no devil try to push through some man to it's all about our daddy bit. It's all about saving souls. That's it. And having a blessed life now. Hallelujah. Praise that's that's defined the word Abba. From the strong concordance of the Old and New Testament of the Bible, Abba. Hebrews 1. Uh, a primitive word, Father, in a literal and immediate or figurative and remote application. Chief, Father, Forefather, fatherless, patrimony, principle, compare names in Abi. Hallelujah. This is Daddy Yahweh. That's it. You know all this him. Well, that, that's that's see, that, that's Yahweh. Who is Yahweh? Yahweh. Uh, Yahweh from Yahweh Wikipedia. Uh, towards the end of the Babylonian captivity, the ex very existence of foreign gods was denied and. Yeah. That, that, they come on to the very end, foreign God, the, uh, the very existence of foreign element was denied. He was always, always denied, you know, from the beginning. They all laid it down, content. And Yahweh was proclaimed as the creator of the cosmos and the one true God of all the world, giving birth to Judaism, which circa 14, 15 million. Hallelujah. And, and where it's today. And, 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 and they talk about giving birth to you, they ain't alive. Y'all right. ain't got no religion. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't have any have a belief system from Genesis Revelation. That's a lie uh, from the devil. The devil put that out there to man. Y'all don't have no religion. You go where that way you should say, I'm a Baptist. <clears throat> I'm a Methodist. Where is that? So who told you uh -huh. who's this did? He tell you. That that was all we telling y'all. Is this such and such thing? Is this such one that he was like, you know, it was gonna be religions coming after him. Holler, y'all. Say Say what the five word say. Say Hebrews five fifty nine Amar, a primitive group to say used with great latitude, answer, a, a point, a vouch, bid, boast, self, call, certify. Challenge, charge, command, at the command, give command, commune, consider, declare, demand, desire, determine, expressly, indeed, name, plainly, promise, publish, report, require, say, speak, speak against, speak of still, suppose, talk, tell, turn, that is, think, use, speech, Utter barely yet. Huh? This is Yahweh all the way. This is the word from the beginning, and this is what he have in us. All that you heard here, this is Yahweh. This is all about Yah. That's it. It's all about Yah, not about us. We are thankful that we are chosen rather. We, we say, we say, use of that. Like the world said, I ain't gonna let nobody use me. We say, use of Daddy Yahweh because of so to you because we will never get used enough from you, Daddy. I just keep using us until our last day on this earth. Mm -hmm. For your toe, Daddy Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Holla Yahweh. Hallelujah. Family. Families. <clears throat> Hebrews 4940, Miss Bakar. From Hebrews 8192, compare. Hebrews 8198, a family. 
Example, circle of relatives, figuratively, a class of persons, a species of animals or sort of things. By extension, a tribe of people, family, kind, kindred. That's us. That's right. That's why daddy say, daddy always, uh, 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 daddy always say, yeah, he's your daddy when you were obedient. So when I was supposed to be your father, going to be your dad. He said, Yahweh always say, let's have a family talk. He said, because you all just, you know, from since I can't call you as a nation, just been some of y'all. Not all that, you know, that's why he has a remnant. And we all that remnant to come back and boldly say what Duff says, Yahweh, from Genesis to Revelation. Holla, Yahweh. Praise the mighty God. Okay. As I asked uh, Rob Mackay and Messenger Daniel, David would say, they have nothing. A cold and nothing. For Yah had, I got a Yah nothing. A Yah nothing. You know. And uh, and and it is it is it is this. Let's go to first Samuel. First Samuel, Samuel. First Samuel. First Samuel. First Samuel. First Samuel chapter 12. First Samuel chapter 12. We're gonna read, you know, like we say, y'all always have a physical and then a spiritual principle that you can make out of anything in here. Physical and then once you become polarized, to be inspired by his word, he is who are revealed the way. You see, you tell it as the physical spirit, and then it will out, take it, push it out as the spiritual part of it. Hallelujah. Praise First said, praise the mighty God. We love him this day. Uh, but we bought out that business in this age. He born, born us to born up your sure. Like he had to be lifted up in that wilderness, we lifted up in this wilderness. Hallelujah. The world is a ghetto. Look around the world, it's a ghetto. It is. The, the devil has sent out his demon to turn the world to, is to a ghetto. Ain't, ain't, you know, they can, they can imagine their mind fast on that. Oh, I live in this nice house and all this. You still being gained by the de your daddy the devil. You ain't serving Yahweh. You thinking it's all good. You think this, this, gonna, this country going to last forever. If you read through the history book of, of, of the Bible, it got to come down. Because you sure coming down to the soil. Yahweh. Hey, we we well we it's it what whatever whatever it go down, we we all good because we with Yahweh. It's good now. We don't worry about y'all sets up and put up you know, whoever's in office. We that don't bother us. Because we not our government is not about this world. We are the government of the over the government. We all be provided for. Oh yeah, when you come to know this word. Yeah, you're going to battle. It's already a battle of the mind between yourself and the Ruach. The flesh is yourself. It's going to be trying to hold on to the old words and frighten this and all that, but you're not going to know. You're too worthy to let that old little enemy, your worst enemy, yourself rule. Holler Yahweh. Some people go for phrase the word and go back. Like you say, back to one point. Go back to the muddy word. Holler Yahweh. First Simeon, chapter 12. Verses 13 to 14. First Samuel chapter 12, verse 13. This one year is where, like, like Ron McCoy would say, they want to they wanted rub shoulders with somebody in the White House. They want to be invited to the White House. Say, oh, I was over there, we kicked it all, boy. Oh, look at that king, all this. This is when they gave the king of kings up for a human king. Read. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 13. Now, therefore, behold the king whom ye have chosen, and whom ye have decided. And behold, Yahweh hath set a king over you. Verse 14, if ye will reverence Yahweh and serve him and obey his voice and not rebel against the commandment of Yahweh, then shall both ye and also the king that reigneth over you continue from Yahweh your elevation. See, that, 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 that was the physical part they one day and Malak over there, but here's the spiritual part. Because we polarize. When you polarize, this is what you, this is what we chose to do. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, behold, the king whom we have chosen and, and whom we have desired. Yeshua. 
Yeah. And behold, Yahweh has set a matter over you. You should be matter over, uh, over matter over the whole heaven. Yes. And if you will respect and, and reverence Yahweh and Eric Yahweh and above, obey Yahweh's voice and not rebel against the high midfire of Yahweh, then shall both ye and also the king that reign over you continue following Yahweh forever and ever. That's yes. it. Holler Yahweh. That's it. That's it. It's already the king and all that. We being obedience to the king, uh, you know, and, and that's what we're gonna he's gonna be our map over us forever and ever. See, good. Yahweh has already he has a physical, the picture on the physical and like planting seeds and this and that. Then he has the spiritual principle. Praise the mighty. That's when you polarize and 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 to his inspiration. These words are inspired. Holla Yahweh. Uh, Yah nothing. For the world. Holla Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yah. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's go to Matthew, Matthew. Chapter 12. Matthew. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew, Matthew chapter 12. And see what thus says Yahweh. And the Bible will speak to you. If you polarize, you come and know it, learn, receive it, learn it, and, and put it to practice. We polarize it. No matter what's going on around you, 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 you dare on Yahweh. You focus and can't nothing move you. Yet. You're, you're stabbed, you're frozen to that word. Yep. Can't get, like you said, you see people who don't even put their tongue on a frozen thing. We stuck on the, we polarized on the inspiration of these words, Dabarim. Mm -hmm. Holla Yahweh, we a pillar mm -hmm. on these Dabarim. Can't be moved. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty God. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12. Let's read verses 30 to 32. Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattered the poor. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yeshua said, Straight up. Yeshua, Yeshua, this is Yeshua said, He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattered, scattered the poor. I brought some of the dead that many lessons as they, in, in our history book and the, and, and the physical people that come to him, Tip was saying, I'm with you and all that, and all that, you know, he letting you know. You against me, you ain't gathering nothing with me. I know you. And when he gets us to know the people, they come in, they ain't got the same vision of the foundation vision that I rock, that we rock and gave by Rama Kai. They not with us. And that's what Yeshua said, you ain't with me. Continue. Verse 31. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. Hallelujah. He said, Wherefore, Yeshua said, I am mine to you, all manner of hata and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto Adam, but the, the, the blasphemy against the Ruach Hakadah shall not be forgiven unto Adam. You not y'all coming and not believing him, y'all gonna die with it. So he's saying that that's the one that's blasphemy against the word. That's blasphemy. You not believing this word, you know. You ain't inspired because you're not with them. You ain't you ain't polarized on his word. You get it? Then you like he had wrote. You wanna go lean to your own stinking thinking, thinking you done smarter than the creator. You've been gained by your daddy the devil. That's it. Continue. Verse 32, and, once, and whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him. Neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Huh. And, what, and whosoever, Amar, a Dabarin, Hal Dabarin, against the high bottom of Adam, I'm going to forgive you. But, yeah, but you? Who speak it uh, a mind against the Ruach HaKadah, it shall not, he says, it shall not be forgiven you. Neither in this age, neither in the high age to come. Because you went up you, like like this. He gave you the word, Israel, and you you, you playing around with it. And, and you ain't saying exactly what thus says Yahweh. And the Bible has told you so. You going there, so you speaking blasphemy against the word. He telling you, well, these are... These are lost. That's how you get to the people. This is how I want to live. 
That, and this is the only way. Yeshua's word. He's the word from Daddy Yahweh. And you speaking blasphemy when you're lying, you're going against it. Holler Yahweh. Mm -hmm. yes. Tight. Tight. Titus. Let's go to Titus. But Titus, man. See what the guru out here, Titus, put down for us. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. And let's, let's, let's read verse, uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 2. Titus chapter 2 and verse 2. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. Hallelujah. Read, read, go ahead, read 3. Yes. Verse 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false act accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Hallelujah. That, like I say, this is Yah's plan. For, he has a plan for man and woman. His divine plan. It's man and woman. It's husband and wife. Brother and sister. We are our God. The two of each is one. Like Yahshua and the daddy one. And this way he's saying, this is what he's saying is where do this. You know, I'm, I want you to get back on, on point. That the age of Adam be so great, temperate, sound, and eminent, in charity, and in patience. Now you say, sound in eminent, that's Yeshua, that being that, that the dollar ring, that's that you are polarized in, in charity, and all that come patient. And when he say sober, he's talking about being sober, sober in the, in the spiritual world. He ain't talking about drinking, he ain't on that, nobody twisted for you. He said being sound, sober, and sound in it. You polarize. You had to get this inspiration from this book, these words to do this work. That's right. And then, and then, and, and, and you chew the mac, the little mac, then he, and then he, it just said, we, we polarize to get inspiration. And then, then he said, the age is shot. Likewise, just like in the beginning, when he created man, Adam, and Kawa, he said, the age women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming Kardashians. Not as false security, not giving too much. Yain, Yaraz, a toe thing out of there. They polarize. Yeah, and like, 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 I can, you could tell when some passes where they had a problem with some type of substance because they keep, they try to knock it out. Like this brother this morning, you know, he, he kind of, honey, you, you, how you know people ain't hug when, 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 when they ain't holy, when they drink? I'm like, that's a lie, you know? That's a lie, because I heard him say his testimony about when he was drinking. But here it is, it's in the Bible, and he calls himself a young, don't, he said, don't get much. Everything is temperate, yeah. moderation, control, because yeah. mm -hmm. he know once you, anything, you know, he, he know you're going to you let the devil in. Now you say in this walk, you got to guard, you got to guard your eyes, what you see, you got to guard your ears, what you hear, you got to you got to guard, tame that tongue, what you say, and you got to and you got to guard guard your, your mouth of receiving and uh, like this here, receiving food and all that. You know you got to you got to be a, a steward of what you put in. He said, take care of this thing, what you put in, what you drinking and eating. You know you got to you got to guard that, cause hey, out here. Uh, I just seen this week on the phone where I know it's the phone company I'm with and then they got a new thing I first time we were up slowly, let's see. They got endless of garbage of the worldly news. Endless. I'm like, man, it's gonna end, it's rolling down. I never did it because I go right to to the other thing. You got to guard it. Cause the devil is running running rapid around your look. And you got to you got to be polarized on the dollar ring to have that. That 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 divine and spiritual shield, not to see and take in here and take in his God. Hallelujah. So you can stand, be strong against the devil. He's trying to weaken you. And when the majority, you look at the majority, I can say, Lake of Fire has it brought and stuff. You can look out, just look out, look around. When you head, look at a little new, and when you step out that door, you will see. 
They doing what they think they can do anything and be yeah. in the kingdom. That's the deception of the devil. He's around the whole world. Hallelujah. That is why y'all we ought say the world is a ghetto. He had some brother them, them sing songs ahead of time, like he had in here. He had people prophesied before the time thing happened. And records, they can be they 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 are they all reality he makes and has to make them spirit. The world is a ghetto. Yeah. The, the, the devil gave his it has his demon going around tearing it up. Yeah. And trying to he hates the whole you know, y'all's creation is mankind. He got people doing it. He does his work. Holly y'all. And as I was watching this morning, uh, Rod Shalom had the thing, the peace. I'm about to see you find the peace. And the peace is the wicked, wild men and just taking down man, from the influence of the devil. Holly Yahweh. It's the peace. You got to be aware of the peace. Himself, the devil. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. This is it. He, he, he talking to you, Israel. I'm going to daddy say, let's have a family talk. Get, get back and as you sure can. And, and don't, now some to the max, you know, and, and, and then I even I saw a young one teacher this morning. You know, I read verses that I have on my phone and he was talking about that and praying that you should come back soon. So it's like some Hebrew self thing come come back. Selfish of your daddy, the devil. That's why that we had the rod, some of the dead uh, scripting in the way he's He's, he's coming back when he he's, he got patient, long suffering. Yeah. That you can repent yeah. and repent. That's selfish. You want him to come back because you figured you saved. You gonna be in the king. That is selfish. We wouldn't wish no. I wouldn't wish. We don't wish no one to end up in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing that our daddy said. He wished that no one's in peril. You want him to come back, but we know it ain't. When I read, I know that the signs and the prophecies ain't there yet. They ain't there yet. And we know, you know, when when it's coming near there. Yeah. These are the in the last day. I like say people wax cold and all that, he tell you. Mm -hmm. and, and this is it. This is the beginning. And he said, you hear rumor, war, the rumor, war. But that that don't he said, don't don't get scared on that. Yeah. It's coming. But that is selfish. That's the devil. Why should he come back? Cause you what you get falling weak, you faint from this mess. It's a joy to us. And we get renewed and strengthened every time we lay down and he's waking us up. Every time we hear this, we polarize. He's inspired by right. these dollar rain. It's lovely to do this work. Rest you know, and then when you get out there amongst the people, it's you just it fires you up to just really chuck that devil head off like that we did that that Philistine. That was the devil. We chopped it out with them lions, chopping his head off from the lions to tell The spirits of sword, holler Yahweh. That's selfish. Yeah. Want them to come back because you think I'm saved. I'm gonna be that selfish. You are your daddy the devil, you sure say. Holla y'all in Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians, that's all it's about love. You get to, you get polarized and in the Dabarine Express. You have the same love daddy Yahweh had for people. You had to pass them a train of food for them. You know when, 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 when to cut him off, cut him off, and all that, and keep it distant. Like you say, mock him, dang for you on the building up of the kingdom, mm -hmm. right here on the earth. And mm -hmm. You just you say mock him. Now they say, but you don't treat him like an enemy. No. You still love him. Yes. That's what it's about. Yes. And I like he say he you forgive him as he forgive you. If you don't forgive, he ain't forgiving you. And you got you think you. All oh, good, a believer, and all that, saved and faithful. You got on, you got hatred and all that. You are your daddy, the devil. You sure came in flesh and, and broke it down for us. Holla, Yahweh. Got to get rid of all that mess, that fleshly mess. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Ephesians. Hallelujah. This is, we just speaking it. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 4, and verse 32. And be ye kind one to another. Tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as Elohim, for Shia's sake, has forgiven you. Hallelujah! That's how. That's how. That's how you know you 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 polarized and get get inspired by the word. You don't even know what the daddy had you broke down. Holler, y'all! And be and and all and every one of us 
Be kind, I call to another. Ten and pay, forgiving, I call another. Even that Yahweh, for the Messiah's sake, the Yahweh, for the young man, to Yeshua's sake, the enemy of Yeshua, he said, for Yeshua's sake, mm -hmm. have forgiven you. Yeah. That Yeshua bore all that stuff for us. He did that. The daddy, because the daddy, hey, if it wasn't for Yeshua, we all ought to be going to the A5. Yep. <laughs> Yeshua, daddy say, but I love them. I created them in my image. So anybody you be cursing out and all that and looking down on them, I brought in this in here, you know, you, you're doing that to Abba Yahweh. He created an image. You ain't, you think you're doing to that person, but you're doing to the dad. Yep. And Yeshua said, when I was thirsty, getting drank, food, that's what he talked about. Because mm -hmm. he made it his enemy. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah, hallelujah. Let's go to Psalms. 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 Let's go to Psalms. Psalms 79. This book, our book, is, is a love book of, to us. If you, if you get in and, and love the word, but it's a it's, it's, it's a vengeance book too for you now. He let you know here's the love I have. Here's the vengeance. The consequence because you, you, don't, you didn't love me. You know, not like the, the young one to the Sunday paper that like he had said he got it written. You ain't say y'all be trying to do it letting in the devil. Then the gang y'all through people, these men and women pass it when they try to dance around the law. Ain't no dance around, it's all in there. And then one of the one y'all know Jesus. Yeshua said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. You don't love him. You're trying to listen and, and think you can do what you want to do and be in the king. Uh-uh. Y'all got standards. You got to come up. We got to come up to all of us. Mm -hmm. And we, we, once you get there, you got to stay there. Yeah. You got to stay there. And the only yeah. way to stay there is to be polarized. And these dog ready to be inspired you every day. The flesh going to try it. You know, put some emotional thing, but then you're like, hey, I done came too far now that that, that, that you weaken me now. I got too much words to be weakened to you. I got to be strong for others. How do y'all, myself and others, ourselves and others. How do y'all, Psalm chapter 79. And, and, and verse, yeah, this is it. Praise y'all, 79, verse 9. Psalms chapter 79 and verse 9. Help us, O Elohim of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us, and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Hallelujah. That is where we're talking here first, and then we both, then, then we both, then, Aza us, O Elohim of our Yeshua, for the high Kabor of thy shem, your name, Daddy Yahweh, deliver us. And purge away our heart to our for your name's sake, Daddy. That's it. This is what you want to do. This is how you're going to be crying out. Cry out. Cry out for yourself and others for you can get washed, for you can have that pure mind and, and, and ways of Daddy out to grew up, you know, giving you a pure thoughts and all that to go with his pure Ruah. That's what it is. Yeah, that he gave you the ruach, so we can always think and have pure thought and think not, nothing bad about no one or nothing. Yeah. He that, you know, he said, count on all joy, look at it, and yeah. joy, it's, it's, it's a blessing. Yes. No, that's, that's, the, that's the flesh, the devil trying to gain the flesh. You probably look at everything and, and have no be thinking, thank you, daddy, y'all. Thank you, daddy, y'all. Like, like, like all this, this weather thing that been going around the last few weeks so around the country. It's all colder than normal. But that's, you probably say thank you, Daddy Y'all, because you know you had stopped house of time. He and his demon it could have been worse. Yeah. Praise the mighty Yah. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. People, you know, then he think he, he has to let the devil roam because you all he got some hands to protect him out you, even when you not love him. He loves you. We wish him nothing bad, but he can't he can't violate his law. Mm -hmm. You know, had full protection around him. Holler Yahweh, but and the devil will try to come and to all of us some type of way. But we know it's the good of Yahweh, whatever it is. Holler Yahweh, it works for our good, whatever it is. You're going to see me through it. Yeah. Like hey, our brother Yo, he like he took away his family. 
Like he's yeah, it is written on. He gives you like gave you two two or twenty times more like Yeshua said. And they said, We can say God family, we done, man, we done turned up went to you. Now they think we cuckoo following you. We ain't got no family on us around. We got you know that for a house, you know, just now that Jordan ain't nothing to them and to follow you. He said, Hey, look here, don't even call me, don't even work. I got you. In this life, you got 20, 30, 40. He is double for the trouble the devil tried to put on you. And he said, then you got to eternally with me. That's it. That's it. This is promising. You know, no matter what's going on in your life, come and yah. Call yah. Call on yah. That is this thing say, help us. Hallelujah. If you don't know the word, get with somebody. Somebody you know knows some word. Get it, call them up. Knowing that, no, hey, I need you to Pray for me, you know, man, and talk to the daddy and, 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 and being in and standing in the gap for me, tell me what I need to do. Holla Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's go to let's go to John, let's see, let's go to let's go to Esther first. Let's go to Esther. Esther's death chapter nine. Esther chapter 9. Esther. Esther chapter 9. And and like I say, this is this is the like I say y'all talking to Israel. You know what you say? You say you told you not to get at, get with the mother nation because you're gonna get their way. And but this a lot of we're gonna read this. It's a lot of Israel thing. Prove you should tell them prove. We gonna find out who 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 called Prune? Esther chapter nine, chapter twenty four. The the twenty four to thirty two. Holla Yahweh. Esther chapter nine and verse twenty four. Because Haman the son of Hamadiah, I mean Hamadatha, the ag the wait start start at start at um. Well, we can just, yeah, we we'll read this again. Go ahead. Okay. Because Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the, Gat, the Agathite, the enemy of all the Hebrews, had devised against the Hebrews to destroy them and had cursed and had cast purr that is the lot. To consume them and to destroy them. Hallelujah! See, they had cast purse. See, that's part of the word there. That's that's the beginning. That's where he, they got he got some of it there. Contain. Verse twenty-five. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Hebrews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows. Verse 26, wherefore they call these days Pur after the name of Pur. Y'all see that? He said, he said, wherefore they call these young Pur after the high shame of Pur. Continue. Therefore, for all the words of this letter and of that which they had seen concerning this matter and which had come unto them. Verse 27, the Hebrews ordained and took upon them, and upon their seed, and upon all such as joined themselves unto them, so as so as it should not fail that they would keep these two days according to their writing, and according to their appointed time every year. Hallelujah. Y'all see y'all come out per this what he said. Not y'all the end of day and took upon uh, upon them. And upon their seed, and upon all such as joined them. Anybody who want to come kick it party, come on. Now themselves unto them. And so that it should not fail that they would mark these two young according to their writing and according to their point in time. Every year, continue. Verse 28. And that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation, every family, every province, and every city. And that these days of Purim should not fail from among the Hebrews 
nor the memorial of them perish from their seed. Verse 29, then Esther the queen, the daughter of Abihail, and Mordecai the Hebrew wrote with all authority to confirm this second letter of Purim. Then Esther, the queen, the daughter of Abihail, and Mordecai the Hayyadian wrote with all token to confirm the second letter of Purim. You heard what it said? Esther and Mordecai continue. Verse 30, and he sent the letters unto all the Hebrews to the 127 provinces of the kingdom of Ahasuerus with words of peace and truth. Verse 31, to confirm these days of Purim in their names, in their times appointed, according as Mordecai the Hebrew and Esther the queen had enjoined them, and as they had decreed for themselves and for their seed, the, mass, the matters of the fastings and their cry. Verse 32, and the decree of Esther confirmed these matters of Purim, and it was written in the book. Hallelujah. To confirm these, these young of Purim in their time, upon according, according as Mordecai, the high yada, and Esther, the queen, had enjoined them, as they had decreed for themselves, for their seed, the matters of fasting and their cry. And the decree of Esther confirmed these matters of Purim as it, as it was written in the book. Y'all flag, you, you see, y'all celebrate a man-made holiday. The devil's holiday. Yep. They, say, they say they did it. They did it. Y'all know what Leviticus 20, 20, 23 saying? Those are y'all's holy day. Yep. Holler y'all way. Mm -hmm. Now, and then this, there he goes, y'all. Let's go to Amos chapter 5. Amos chapter 5. This is what y'all have to say about it. Amos chapter 5. Israel, you ain't going to be sure celebrating that. You ain't going to be celebrating that. No problem. That's, 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 that's some other ethnic, some other nation that's, man, they done took it on. They took it. They, y'all know who is people where you ain't got to go back and forth. None. The book explains. Anybody that's that, that, that goes against them, they stick and blast them. And you say it won't be forgiven in this life and that, because you don't repent from it when you, as Rob McCullough said, you move with them hot dogs, you're waking up with them, you're going to be back with them. Mm -hmm. And that's the blasphemy, you ain't forgiven because you ain't repent while you was alive. Mm -hmm. Amos, this is, what, this is what our daddy is all. He our daddy because we are. We are told but polarized in this domain that inspires us to tell the truth. Amos chapter 5 and verse 21. Thus says Yahweh, this ain't how we got to repeat. All, all we are doing is repeating what was written and left for us to stay polarized and be inspired by these words no matter what comes our way. Because we know it's just, it's just, you sure say you're going to go through. The world is going to hold the to that. We call them now, we just call them occurrences and, and things, things that appear. But he'll say, I already overcome the world. You are more than overcome. We just got to stand and put that, that arm of faith on that them fiery dogs and devil. Boop, 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 bounce off us. Because we all had the heads, the shield around us. Like he had the big old heads around the Garden of Eden. That's what he has around us. It's the spiritual to the physical. Yeah. There is physical. Goshen, now we in spiritual Goshen of, of the enemy now of Yeshua. How do y'all mm -hmm. Amos. Amos chapter 5, verse 21. Just said that Yahweh. Amos chapter 5, and verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days, mm -hmm. and I will not smell in your solemn assembly. Hey, how's your name? I despise your Met, met, Moed, Ked, Yom. And I would not smell in your, my solemn assembly. You would smell all you want. All you want. He back in no. That ain't, I didn't yeah, write that. Yeah. You took it upon yourself. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's all these hot, uh, devil, these are the devil's hotline days. Just coming off Christ mad, finna go into uh, Gregorian, New Year, Janice, and looking back and forward. 
Yeshua said, you looking back, you ain't worthy of the kingdom. Got that some that that thing coin looking back and forth, looking back on bad looking forth. That that's all that's all paganism. That's all of religion. That's it. That years ago you got to stand on. But some of y'all agreeing with it. Why? Because you, you, you're doing it. And you know you read. But that's how you got this remnant. We are part of one and rims around the air. We standing on what does says y'all, because the Bible told us so. How did y'all wait? Told him. You know, he despised Joy. Let's go to Ezra chapter 9. Ezra chapter 9. Let's read verse 23. He's just repeating this. What he had said, what he do the rhyme. And Ezra chapter 9, when they, when they finally found the book and knew they were dissing Daddy Yahweh. Ezra chapter 9. Ezra chapter 9. And, and this one they had pleaded with Yahweh. Ezra chapter 9, verse 10, 10 to 12. Ezra chapter 9, verse 10. And now, O our Elohim, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments. <laughs> Look, they, they came, they senses. They found the book, and then they, they, got, they were lost. They kept from like y'all, them 400 years, and that man do from Malachi to Matthew, let them check, check let them see, can they, see, let me just lay back and never they come back, see if they gonna figure out, never can. And now, oh, our Elohim, what shall we admire after this? For we have for second night mixed by content. Verse 11, which thou hast commanded by thy servants, the prophets, saying, The land unto which ye go to possess it is an unclean land with the filthiness of the people of the land, with their abominations which ye have filled it from one end to another with their uncleanness. Hallelujah. Which thou hast survived by the Thy Ellen and the high Navi and the Mar, the land which you should go to possess, and the land that you're gonna go count it in, it is an unclean land with, with the filthiness of the ham of the land. And that sick coops had which have filled it from one from Aka end to another with their unclean. Firstly, our people went and conquered the land, and he's talking about when you're in your captivity too. Ain't nothing changed. Contain. Verse 12, now therefore give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace or their wealth forever, that ye may be strong and eat the good of the land, and leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. Hallelujah. As I, well, I'm going to read it as I wrote, Shalom was doing like in, in, in the pre, the lesson before, the, the, main, the, the main food that that they, they, they were building up the, the, the temple and stuff like that. And people knew. And as he had said, they come from kings and all that. This you gotta know who you are. And that's what it is. That's the devil through man trying to weaken the Israel. That's it. Now there therefore give not your best your your best nor your, your until their bond. Neither take your your best until your bond. Now seek their shalom. You don't get their peace. I, I gave it to you. You are the peacemaker. Or their wealth forever. He said, you know, forever. Don't go for it. I, I gave you health to get my wealth. You just got to come back to me and I'll tell you, I'll show you how to go get it. Well, forever. That ye may be correct and eat the hot toe of the land and leave it for inheritance in your land forever. And that's what we did. We see the big picture. This ain't about us. It's about the people that's, that's coming after us. When they can, we teach them, bro, they can go, we lead that, so they can get into the inheritance of our land when you should come back. Yes, my brother. Continue. It didn't dip. That is, oh, that was it. Praise the mighty God. See what they had said? And, and then we're going to, that, as it was in Deuteronomy, when he told them, don't give your son a daughter. They just found out the book, the, the book was lost for a minute and they found it. And then they had prayed, oh, Yahweh, we had hot the eye against you. Ezra chapter 10. Ezra chapter 10, verse 2. Ezra chapter 10 and verse 2. And Shechaniah, the son of Yehiel, 
one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We have trespassed against our Elohim, and have taken strange wives of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Yisrael concerning this thing. Hallelujah. And say there's hope. Yeah. Just repent. Because that's all he wants you to do, Israel. Come back. And you know, I, I know in them days they we had wealth and they they took care of them children. I don't know y'all what we have you to do today, that'll be between you and Yah. So, but that I know they separated from but they took care of their, their children, you know, but they couldn't stay with the strange Israel. They couldn't stay with them. I don't you have to talk once once you come to know it or you knew it and then disrespect them like that. That's bad if you knew it and then still wanted wanted to lusting after the other the other other goey, that's all. That was love. And then some of y'all try to put it off that it's alright, even like they like my 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 cop right here, Sahara the Rock. She spiritual is where she I, I couldn't marry her because she's not physical Israel. You know, that's what some brothers want to take that off and, and use it as an excuse. Oh, dude, that's not that daddy told you. They, they have a, yeah, that's it. It's just lust. Want to fulfill your lust. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't polarized. Because you have, you have, you doing what the devil want, and wants you to do. This our dad. Holler Yahweh. We just here to show you Israel the truth. I heard a brother say it. You know, one of our ministers, brother said, I wouldn't tell him that. I said, I ain't going around and tell him that. But I have read it. If it came up, I have to tell the truth or I'll be a liar. You should. He took on board, I said. He was tempted in all ways, like I said, but he didn't sin. So that's what we call a new man creature. Ain't no more lying and sinning. How do y'all wait? You just, you just fooling yourself. Yahweh knows and sees everything. Yachana chapter 10. That, like we said, we saw a prom. That ain't a day is record. It shouldn't be celebrated. And here go Yeshua. We finna go to Yachana chapter 10. Now, yeah, he always say, put this one back on him again. Yachana chapter 10. Yachana, yeah. At chapter 10. And he told you it. He told you in what he, he despised your, 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 your keg, young. You know, he told you that. And this is y'all, this other one, y'all taking y'all something, then y'all talk about that other nationality, but y'all follow up behind 13 months, uh, the, the new year, the seventh month, uh, Hanukkah, all that. Yeah, you ain't got to go over what I said. You know what to mention, but it, it's the other nationality, and y'all follow behind. Y'all be hating them, but y'all, yeah, and then on that, uh, What's that old Greek name book? Uh, Apocryphus? Y'all so true Hebrew down is Greek. You Greek, huh? You believe the devil gained you and had you with naysayer. And you believe in that. You, that book's so silly. Now that's a story book there. They got part two for night of that. That's a story. That, that's that funnier than a child book. It's it's so goofy how they, they have something like 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 Cain and Abel. They ain't gonna have it like, put it like, came one, hey, something come to my, my, my stuff, man, what, what you doing? Goofy. And you done read the book, Holler Yahweh. Yachanan, for his, his true word, Holler Yahweh. Ezra chapter, did that mean? No, it didn't. Ezra chapter, here we did 10 and 2. I don't know, I'm going to John chapter 10. John chapter 10, verse 22. John chapter 10 and verse 22. And it was at Yerushalayim, the, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. They, 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 all y'all doing is, they found a way to do Christ mass in a different way, that's different good. name. And when that's all y'all trying to do, doing, trying to do Christ that's mass. That's ain't, that's ain't no June 10th. Ain't no, what is that, uh, uh, the black thing that just happening right now. Do you think? No, no, no. <laughs> Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Uh, yeah. Ain't no Kwanzaa. <laughs> so Kwanzaa ended as soon as Hanukkah's ended. They started. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that y'all celebrating. I know y'all got, the black folk got two Christmas celebrations. It's Christ okay. man. That's right. Yeah, That's and, and Kwanzaa. Right. Two yeah. Christmas, two devilish, devilish oh, uh, holiday. 
And they said, it was at Jerusalem at the high day of dedication, and it was winter. Dedication ain't nothing. They, they trying to, they was just, it, was just, it was the dedication they were doing. Yeah. He he was there at the dedication. And then this is, he, they, and it, and this ain't, this ain't, and then we skip down verses 32, and that's, and that's C, where Yeshua celebrated. You know, the day at 30, skip down to verses 30 to 32. Uh, verse 30, I and my father are one. Hallelujah, this will set it up. I and my, I'm a, I, I come, continue. Verse 31, then the Hebrews took up stones again to stone him. Verse 32, Yeshua answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? Hallelujah. Then the high now took up shoes again uh, to sewer Yeshua. They say again. So he, again. They, they say uh, they, they took up sewers again to sewer Yeshua. And Yeshua mind to them. Many old works I have showed you from my eye. For which of these works do you sewer me? And all night he was over there to have to celebrate. They were ready to kill him. So y'all got to come over there that like they say, Jewish fables. You know? Y'all got to come up out of that. Y'all be talking about them, but then y'all running up behind. But they, you know, yeah, running and keeping 13 acres. Y'all had, you read it, y'all had 12 months of a perfect 30 day month. Ain't no 365 days a year. And then, and, and people filed away. And, and, and years where when they brought, when y'all skeletons around here, we used to get beat down if you tried to read. Now, it's wide open, you don't even want to go to school, you don't even want to look up nothing. Where you see where they're my uh, pagan guys, they act out. Well, he got this day, I want an extra day or all that. You know, that's these, these new uh, uh, leaders. Oh, he got one, I want to do And then they named after they pagan God. I praise the mighty y'all. How do y'all wait for his revelation now? Yeah. He's giving all his his, his polarized conditions um, and being inspired by these true dark readings. How do y'all wait? It's love. That's through our daddy word. And sincerity and truth. That's what he said. Like the Marines, physical, here go to the physical. Marine looking for a few good men and women. The spirits. Y'all, I mean, he looking for uh, p uh, people to serve him in truth and in sincerity. Holla Yahweh. That's the toughest army in the universe. Holla Yahweh. Let's go to you. Yo, you, you, you. You, chapter one. You. You, you. Chapter one. Amen. One chapter, but hallelujah. And, and, and. Y'all want to see the, the major and minor prophet. Ain't no major and minor with y'all. Everything made. He just had them like, I like to talk short, sweet, to the point. Keep it plain and simple. And everything they said is major. Everything y'all say is major. Ain't no mind y'all. See, that's the duke of the devil. Duke and new man and woman. Major mind. Come on now. Praise daddy y'all. You chapter 1, verse 12. That's what he's letting you know. It's in this, it, we went to the old, and here's in the new. Mm -hmm. You, chapter 1 and verse 12. These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds, they are without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withered, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Hallelujah. These are the spot in your cave of charity. See, they think it's all good and that I say, as I saw that that's in, uh, um, on the beast, is our Rob saying, hey, they, they, the devil makes it look good now. Now he said, of uh, the feast of charity, you know. And, and when they cave with you, feeding themselves without fear, Cloud, they sitting with you, lying with you, telling you up there with them. They they're just taking you and they feasting with you without fear of God. Fear, fear cloud. 
They are with our mind, carried about around. They ain't got not, none of this watery word, you know. Mm -hmm. Carried about up the wind, trees, whose fruit with it without fruit. They ain't got, they ain't got no fruit. This is, they got the fruit of, of the lies of the devil. Mm -hmm. Twice dead. He said they double dead. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> plucked up by the root. Mm -hmm. They done plucked up. They look alive, but they dead. Yeah. They spiritually walking dead. Mm -hmm. And this is what he did. This is it's in, 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 in the new. Praise the mighty God. Let's see what you let you know. He's coming up on the whole book. Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. He let you know Israel got to get back on point. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the to be. Don't be afraid. He said, oh, you, you sure came in fact. Don't be afraid what man can do to you. Look at our, our disciples, all except one, how they treated, they went to, we ain't, this is cake with some ice and, and ice cream too, with cookies on the side. That's how that good, we got it. Mm -hmm. They had, they went through it all. Exodus chapter 12, chapter, chapter 48, 49. How about it? Exodus chapter 12. And Judah Max and all that, this is what you does says, y'all can read. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 48. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee and will keep the Passover to Yahweh, let all his males be circumcised, and, and then let him come near and keep it, and he shall be as one that is born in the land, for no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. Verse 49. One law shall be to him that is homeborn and unto the stranger that sojourneth among you. Hallelujah, all Judah match and all that. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, and we'll shemar the high pace to Yahweh, let all his males be circumcised, and then let him come near and shemar it, and he shall be as I God that is born in the land. For no uncircumcised nephews shall eat the and then you, you like to say you young big young one teachers, Sunday teachers, we're talking about you know, y'all going on so, so new that when, yes, y'all.